Welcome back to Die Inspired. We've already met the crew of the flagship vessel, the Wandering Seder, but we have three other ships that are also in the convoy to Stray. And what will follow is happening simultaneously with our Seder crew. Welcome to the expedition. A gust of wind catches the sail above your head. You can hear the strain on the mast. Hi, I'm Derek. I'm playing Roland. I am an elf ranger. I want to like help my brother stand up and then make my way to the dinghy. Basically, you, you offer a hand to help. You move action to here. I can make a check to untie it knot. Okay. Uh, that's a 19 plus three. Okay, so one of the ropes is untied, still attached to, the, to the, the boat, but not attached to the ship any longer. Captain Appleton shouts from the helm. Oi, that's the Admiral, that dirty coward. My name is James, my character name is Owen Ravenroar. I use my move action to move over beside my brother, Roland, and I'm going to attempt to untie another knot. Okay, let me check. 13, 13. 13, you're successful. So the two front knots on this, on this boat have been untied, they're free. Just off the port side of the ship, another glassy black spike shoots up out of the water. I am Brett Malone. Today I'm going to be playing Lucas Iron Squall. I'm a cleric of the Deity Grand Anvil. I have been playing since I was 15, 16 years old. Oh, Grand Anvil! Get to the lifeboats, mates! Where is the nearest lifeboat to me? You are way in the back, so there's one here and one here. He will, I guess, take the dash action to try to get as close to the nearest dinghy as possible. So the dwarf from the back of the ship just takes off running. Uh, my name is Ron Wagoner. I'm playing Darian Oathsworn. I am shipping out two basic in two months for the Marines. Left side of the right dinghy. 13 here, so you're going here? Yes. Okay. All right, so you're 286. Would I be able to cut the ropes? Yeah, so you've done a move, so you have an action, so you can cut the ropes and tie the ropes. Do I need to make a check? Yep, make an attack with your weapon. Uh, 20. That'll hit. Do damage. Five, five hit points to cut the rope. Uh, five damage. All right, so you cut the third rope on this, on this lifeboat. My character's name is Friar Winterborn. He uh, actually travels around trying to get contracts to sell the spirits, wines, and uh, ale for his abbey. I try not to uh, lose my lunch as I climb out of the crow's nest and start climbing down, wondering how I got up there. You said the a rope snapped from the, is that anywhere near me? From the mainsail? Uh, it, it'd probably be below you. Uh, I'm going to try to get to that rope to slide down it. Got a 17 plus my acrobatics of five. That's good acrobatics. You're about 30 feet down, sliding down the rope. Save yourselves, mates! Someone needs to report to the door of Reslin's treachery! Screams Captain Appleton. Hey, my name is Don. I'm playing Aris, uh, who is a barbarian who thinks he's a wizard. I have been playing for about 15, 20 years. I'm gonna try and make my way over to the boat and uh, jump off and Swing a great sword at one of the ropes. So okay, so give me a give me a check to take a swing at ropes. it, um, and that is uh, twelve. Twelve to hit. So give me damage uh, for six points of damage. Okay, so you cut one of the ropes on lifeboat number two. A scream rings out as the anchor chain breaks, catching the leg of, of a shipmate at the knee, taking the lower half of his leg. My character's name is Loon Rathmore. Loom is a world-traveling half-orc ranger. Seamus, Gust, get over here, help me with this dinghy. I will as soon as I can. I'm coming. Attempt to untie one of the ropes. Okay. That is a 22. That'll do it. So now, yep, boat two has two of the ropes. Uh, my name is Emma White. I'm playing at Ida Red Fletcher. I run a donut shop. I've been playing for about four years. It's my first time on a boat and it's going down. <laughs> this happening. I'm looking for something loose made of wood. Yeah, you've got some empty barrels around here. These are crates that are tied down. Try and tie some of these barrels to the boat so we can take more people. So I'm gonna grab one of those barrels. You've done part of your move and manipulation to pick up the barrel. 
Do you still have part of your move and action? So I'm gonna bring it over to the boat. <clears throat> Olin, can you help me with this? I'm gonna cast Guidance on him. Okay. Um, I'm Kay, and my character's Gust. I write, Gust is a runaway. Um, she has joined the crew as Night Watch. Captain Appleton shouts, Get this to the door! As he rears back to throw a small book your direction, you hear wood crack and splinter as another spike of black glass obsidian punctures the stern of the ship, ripping through it, sending Captain Appleton soaring out into the dark raging water. Ah! Did he take the book with him or did he drop it? The book just kind of goes flying off. A quick look around to see if I do see the book. Okay. You want to take an active perception check? Yeah. Okay. Um, 16 plus, wait, sorry. 16 plus 3, so 19. Uh, you're pretty certain you actually saw as he reared back, that's when he was struck by the, by the, the spire of obsidian. And wherever he went, it's safe to assume that the, the book he was trying to throw went with him. How easy is it to climb over the barrels, using the barrels to climb up to the next deck, or do I need to take the stairs? It'd be a DC, uh, it'd be an athletics check, DC 10. Climb the barrels. Really? Okay, my dice don't like me to. Um, I got a, you said athletics check? Yes. Uh, seven total. Seven, so you try and climb on the barrel to, to get your hands up on the handrail. And as you reach up, you kick you kick the barrel underneath your feet and it kind of goes tumbling out from underneath you. Okay, well that having failed miserably, I'm going to head for the stairs and go up the stairs um, towards the, the boat. My name is Robert Scholes. I play the character Boy. I am a security officer. My character is a sailor uh, with a class of druid. I have been role-playing games since 1977. A crash of thunder explodes in the sky without a flash of lightning. Well, that's unusual. Ida's right. There's not enough room in the boats for all of us, but if we rope the barrels together, we can drag them on the boats. Everyone can be saved. Get your ropes. Sailors to the boats. I am going to use my own barrel, which I spoke with you about before. My character does not carry a backpack. He carries a barrel because he's a sailor and if he goes over the overboard, the backpack fills up with water and sinks you and a barrel floats. The logic is sound. I, <laughs> <laughs> and I am going to take it. After I stand up, I've only got 15 feet of movement, so and I'll be at 325 there's a, there's then. It's a, a safer. There's a foot laying right here, <laughs> but, but, but the anchor's but, gone. The anchor's gone and the sailor that was attached to you the can foot pick, is also you can gone over the side. No, he's still laying. He's, he lost the foot, but I think yeah, he's, he's still laying. So this is going to sound <laughs> odd, uh, and I realize yeah, I'm, 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 I realize it's not a player; okay. it's an NPC. But I would still try to say a, a sail. <laughs> yeah, he's been not uh, sailing so, with him for um, forty-one I'm going to grab a torch. I'm going to cast Druid Craft, which lets me light any <coughs> torch, a uh, small campfire, etc., instantly. Okay. I'm going to light that torch, and I'm going to sear that wound. You're going to burn the guy that just got his leg chopped off. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Keep him from bleeding so, out. This is the strangest medicine check. No, it's not. I mean, it, it's sound. You're trying to cauterize the wound. He's going to obviously bleed out and die. I. So, out of the kindness of your heart, you're going to take your torch and light this guy's leg on fire. Oi! <laughs> Sailors have been doing that for a long time. Yeah, I would have went with a tourniquet. But let's, let's, let. You don't have a I, tourniquet? I, I don't know. I, I'm, yeah. I got to save the rope for the barrels. So, you, yeah, that makes sense. So, all right. So, so. Let's let's do a medicine check. We're just doing a medicine check. Uh, let's see, nine plus eight, 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 eleven. Eleven. So he lets out a blood curdling scream. He kind of he's laying on his back. He kicks his head up. He kind of curses at you, and then he just passes out and thumps on the deck. But you are very certain by the lack of blood spurting out of the bottom of his leg that you, you were successful and you managed to cauterize this guy's leg. That was dramatic, man. That was, that was heavy. By the way, my, I have an owl. He's a familiar. His name's what? What's his name? And he says, who? Ha. Huh. <laughs> Why? Yeah, that's very <laughs> oh. Nonetheless, I am going to send Watt airborne so that Watt can tell me whether or not we can find the book. My name is J.P. Chaplow. My character name is Jim Hawkins. I'm a halfling cook for the ship. 
JP's a uh, software engineer by day, uh, game publisher by night. Well, as the cook, I'm gonna first make sure I keep my letters of fire on myself. And then I'm gonna get the rum. And then I'm gonna run out I'm back on deck. You are looking for a bottle of rum. and get yes. your, So you gather your notes. So let me give you a manipulation to make sure you've got your, your cooking notes, I'm guessing. Yes, because my mother would never forgive me if I lost those. Okay, so give me a uh, investigation. Oh, that's an 18. You... I hid it myself yeah, earlier. This, this was your cooking rum. You kept yes. it. You, yeah, you kept it stashed under there. It adds flavor to otherwise bland meat. Um, so yeah, you, you grab your, 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 your bottle of, your secret stash of rum. Uh, you notice that the water is coming in fast from the cracks in the hull from whatever it was that struck the, the hull of the boat. Um, it's about knee high for you ah! already. Abandoned ship! <laughs> Abandoned ship! <laughs> All right, well, at least you saved the rum. What's good at surviving if we don't have anything to survive for? Agreed. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. Zachary and uh, Tormund Strongheart. Play the drum, I'm a, a bard, uh, I used to be a soldier. I uh, hit people with my warhammer. Ropes snap and the sail above your head comes free, blowing out of sight. I'll uh, be heading to the, uh, the lifeboat uh, up on deck. Uh, get as close as I can to that. Okay, so that's your move. Uh, try to, are there still ropes on this boat? Yes. I'll try to untie one of them. Two, two ropes left on, the, on this lifeboat. All right, try to untie one of them. Okay, give me a, either a dex or a thieves tools. Uh, dex, uh, I guess, would be uh, 18. 18, that'll do it. So you've been tied another rope. Name, Michael Pitts. Character name, Seamus O'Malley. My character was born in uh, in the mountains. Both of his parents were killed. Um, he was found by a storm giant and raised, became a blacksmith. Uh, stumbled into a large mirror while traveling up in the, ma the mountains of Scotland. And uh, found his way here to, uh, what is it, Orin, I believe? Well, I look around. I see the guy getting his legs here, screaming. I see thunder, but I don't see thunder. I hear it. And I, I've never been on a boat before. I don't know, is this normal? But this seems really messed up. I'm not sure if this is a good idea. I hear people calling for help. So I run over, put me in 184, I believe that's next to the boat. I'm pulling out my sword as I'm coming up to the boat and I'm trying not to hurt him, but I'm gonna aim for one of the ropes with my long sword. All right, and, roll, uh, a hit. Yeah. roll a hit. 16. 16 hits. Wow, you guys are rolling Chop the way rope. better. Yeah, Do roll, you need to know how much ahead. damage? Okay, I did, it takes uh, five, five damage to, to okay, cut the rope. I did eight, so eight? okay. All right, boat two is free, wow. Well, it's been fun, hopefully we live. Can I, can I get in the boat? I don't have any movement to get into the boat. You can get in the boat, that'll make it way harder to get the boat off the deck. <laughs> I am a, I'm but a, I'm it a will heavy be, dude. It will be funny. Uh, okay, I get um, in the boat. I, I fall into the boat head first, so my legs are sticking up into the sky like that. I'm done. Okay, <laughs> so, he's in, so you're in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been on a boat, I don't know how to do this. Make a, make a performance check. <laughs> All right. Negative charisma, this won't go well. Uh, rolled a nine, that'd be an eight. Nobody's impressed as you're killed. <laughs> it's you're dark killed. though, so yeah. maybe you won't see. Your, your bare ass is just blown in the sea No one wind. can see the moon. Seamus, this is not how this works. <laughs> Hi, my name's Phil, and I'm gonna be playing Flip Revengate. I'm a uh, soldier, and I am a fighter. How long have you been playing role-playing games? Uh, roughly like three years. Well, awesome. Happy rolling. So I, uh, I'm standing here and I'm looking up and I see my fate. I look at the sky, I see it's dark, I see that there's uh, not really any buoys in sight. So I see the rope on the ground and I, uh, I'll grab it and then possibly, if, if as a free action, could I yell to number one and number 14 at the top of my lungs, We need to build our own raft! So it's manipulation to pick up the rope. It's free action to shout something. <laughs> I, I crit failed. I crit failed with manipulation. So. Oh no, you don't roll for manipulation. You, no. you, okay. you manipulation, you, you, so you picked up the rope. Okay. Uh, but since you crit failed, I mean, I kind of. <laughs> they just don't. They just don't. They just don't hear me. They just straight up just don't hear you, me. You so so as you move to this rope to pick up this rope, you get your foot caught in this rope, and just because it's a it's a it's a crit fail. Uh, you trip and you're on your butt. Okay. I have the second turn to get up. Yeah. In a manipulation, you still have an action. 
get up. <laughs> choose to get up? You're kind of red, so you're a little embarrassed. I'm a little embarrassed about yeah. the whole situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I will uh, slowly just get to my feet. Okay. That's all I can do. Yeah. All right. <laughs> my name's Les, and my character's name is Jethro Starbird. I'm retired, and my character is a rogue. All right, it looks like the only thing I can do at this point is run as fast as I can towards... Up, up the uh, port side towards uh, either the barrels there against the rail or uh, the closest dinghy. Okay. As fast as I can. So dashing. My name is Andrew McCall and I will be playing Hans Richter today. And what do you do? I am a chemist. Uh, Hans is going to start you know, muttering under his breath, not again, not again. Yeah. Oh gods, what have I done to deserve this again? <laughs> and he is going to run 30 feet up behind number two. So I can grab the rope at 143 instead. So move me around toward number two, and I will grab the rope as I continue on my way toward the dinghy. Nope, he's a half elf. So let's move, manipulation, grab the rope. Now you're at the dinghy. Okay. Can I hold that action to start tying on a barrel if anybody you want gets ready, within range? You want to ready to your so? action to tie off a barrel to what? To the boat. Uh, try to see if we can expand that and make that a little bit larger. So what's the trigger for your ready to action? Uh, if I see somebody <laughs> approach the boat with a barrel. So I will also yell to the crew, bring me those barrels so we can get those lashed to the, lashed to the dinghy. So if somebody brings a barrel to you, you're going to try and lash it to the dinghy. Correct. Cool. Lots more to come here on Die Inspired this season. Subscribe below and check out another ship's opening moves.